the fourth Sunday in Lent, year A, from the first book of Samuel. The Lord does not see as mortals see. In the name of that same Lord, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our readings for this week present people who find it challenging to see things the way that God sees them. Samuel's depressed over God's rejection of Saul, but finally allowing the Lord to shepherd him, he goes to Bethlehem. In order to complete the task for which God has sent him, Samuel must first sacrifice his grief, and then he must overcome mistrust preconceived notions and impatience before finally he can recognize David as the one to be anointed. To this list, the letter to the Ephesians adds shame regarding whatever it is that we're doing in secret. The letter urges us to take no part in the unfruitful works of darkness, but instead expose them. In other words, we are called not to repeat actions of which we're ashamed or thought processes that are unproductive, but to examine them, seeking the guidance of the Spirit in determining what different courses of action would be pleasing to the Lord. The man born blind in our Gospel reading is given sight. In order to do the work he's given to do, however, he must first face the different reactions of the people around him to the change that he's undergone. The man keeps repeating who he is and what he's experienced, while those around him thrash about blindly, trying to fit his experience in with what they have come to expect to see. Finally, all he can do, indeed all we can do, is to speak of what is true and to move forward with Jesus as those who now see rather than as those who once were blind. As things change all around us, let us expose our shame and offer kindness. Let us recognize a calling and offer the anointing of encouragement. Let us behold the table spread before us, laden with goodness and mercy, and let us offer a seat to our neighbor. Above all, in these days when COVID-19 prevents us from gathering as usual, let us remember that no matter where life takes us, it is God who leads us, and we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. In that na the name of that same Lord, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.